so much better when someone else introduces you. Give me a thumbs up if you agree that psychologically is very powerful when you have someone introducing you. Give me a thumbs up. Yes, there we go. Okay, so here it goes. I'm going to play it. We're just going to act as if this is the start of a podcast. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you a true business growth expert and entrepreneur Shankar Ponsalit. With over 10 years of experience in the industry, Shankar is taking his own business to the impressive $1 million mark by leveraging the power of AI. As the host of the Shankar Ponsalit podcast, Shankar shares his wealth of knowledge and expertise in utilizing AI for business success. He offers tips, tricks, and strategies that help entrepreneurs and business owners stay ahead of the curve and achieve their goals. Please give a warm welcome to Shankar Ponsalit. <laughs> How awesome is this? Yeah, yeah, see? Uh, who here thinks this was great? Who here thinks this was great? Now, it was an AI voice, but it got pretty close to being able realistic enough, right? And I don't think people will care. And for me, this is very powerful because like, for example, this segment where she talks about me being on my path to $1 million, you know, <clears throat> I don't want to say that every time. And it, it just comes much better across when someone else does it. It's very powerful because psychologically, this is called social approval, and people like to accept facts about others. Very often they prefer that from someone else, even if it is AI. All right. So again, this is AI in business. And you have seen that already. This first segment here that hopefully you have enjoyed is powered by artificial intelligence. Now, today we'll talk a little bit about uh, domain names um, because they matter a lot. By the way, if you have not registered your domain name with ending in AI yet, for example, my first name is Shankar, my last name is Ponsolet. So I got myself shankarponsolet.ai. If you have a company and you want it to be perceived as up to date, I recommend getting the domain name company.ai. I got shanks.ai. So I've been reselling domain names for over 10 years now. When I started freelancing and I started creating websites, you always need hosting, you always need a domain name. So after having sent uh, numerous people to GoDaddy, I thought, well, I can do this myself and I can do the customer support better. That business, just like many other reseller type businesses, works in a fashion where you have a wholesale distributor and then you find clients and you resell the digital good. And then, of course, you have to do all the billing and the customer support. And I've been doing that for over 10 years. So if you ever want to do register a domain name, do it with me. If you go to my company's website, Shanks dot com s h a n k x dot com on the right hand side you should see something that is called hosting portal and that's where you can register your domain names now uh, people get confused a lot about um, which domain name to pick and i want to talk about three different avenues three different aspects that from my perspective for most business owners matter when it comes to domain names Number one is, how does it impact your search engine optimization, your findability online in search engines? Number two is, how does it match your brand? Like if your company's name is Shanks, should you then own the domain name shanks.com? Give me a thumbs up if you believe that you should always own the .com domain name of your company, right? I, I, that is very important if you ever get to that point where you exit, you need to sell your business. When the value of your business is evaluated, 
whoever comes and makes that assessment will look at all the assets you own that logically belong to your company. So you probably want to own the .com domain name. So I, when I started out, my web, my, my domain name was shankswebdev.com. And that was very difficult, which leads us in the third aspect, with, which is how easy can people remember, spell it, and semantically understand what it means, right? Shankswebdev.com was difficult. So I, I went ahead and I bought shanks.com. And I paid $2,500 for it because I, I think or, or I know that whenever I exit out of my business, you know, in many years ahead, it's going to be very important for me to be able to say I have and I own shanks.com, I own shanks.ai. I protected my brand by getting as many domain names as possible. Okay. So let me repeat this. SEO findability brand and also can people remember it spell it and does it semantically match with what you're doing so i'm i can talk about uh, domain names forever but i want to touch on these three fields and brief, briefly give you my opinion on it when it comes to seo really to a large extent, it doesn't matter what your domain name is. Yes, it helps a little bit. A tiny little factor impacts, you know, for example, it, let's say your domain name is uh, cars, carsales.com and you sell cars. Yes, then a tiny impact is semantically car sales means uh, selling cars and people who look that up, they'll they'll find you easier so a tiny little impact but i can tell you that most of the seo is driven by the content on your website by the blog posts that you publish on an ongoing basis and by a, a whole panoply of other signals and the domain name itself is not that important that is why for example Apple.com can rank for computers. What does an app, Apple have to do with computers, right? Nothing. That is why HubSpot.com is one of the strongest domain names for anything that has to do with marketing and branding. What is a HubSpot? Doesn't really mean much, right? And yet it has super strong domain name authority for things, anything in marketing and public relations. So for the SEO, it doesn't matter. You can get whatever domain name you want and you feel is good. And if you work your SEO strategies, you will rank. So that's that. One for one and for all settled. Um, then let's go to the brand aspect. So I do think, and I mentioned this earlier, I do think you should try and own your company name.com i furthermore should think that if you make it more than two or three years in your business you haven't gone bankrupt you haven't had to give up then that means that you should really start thinking about protecting your brand because at some point we will all what is called exit our business even if we don't believe it and we don't want to think about it I am still there. Give me a thumbs up if you don't want to think about exiting your business. You're far away from that, you know. On the contrary, you want to make your business work. So see Crystal, Andrea, Vanessa, you're all far away from that. But you need to be wise and think about, okay, in a, in a distant future, when someone comes and assesses my business... What they will look at, okay, do I have all the elements together that make this deal a package where I own all the important assets, intellectual property, rights, names, trademarks, and all of that, right? And domain names are super important. And I can tell you, it's crazy, me as a domain registrar, it's crazy how often I... I come to situations where huge businesses, huge corporations 
don't have control over do their domain name because a random employee in the company registered and then the, the employee left the email that was linked to the domain name registration got deleted and the domain registrant doesn't want to do anything with you you know having access to that, to that original domain email that was used to register the domain this is like super crazy and it can get very costly when you need to use the law um, the help of lawyers to get access to your domain name um, again I own and operate a domain registration company you know, within many other things and I would love to have your business. Send me a message if that is something that you're interested in. Um, <clears throat> if you want to uh, register your domain name with my hosting company. Okay, now we get to the third part and that is having a domaining, domain name that makes semantic sense and that people can spell. This to me for all the people in the room, is the most important aspect. Because we are all most likely content creators and influencers. We like and understand the content marketing strategy. And for example, when you are in audio rooms such as this one, it is very cumbersome when your domain name is too long or people don't know to, how to spell it, or their brain doesn't make a connection with what it is that you do. And I am the first person who made that mistake himself, right? Uh, when I started out, I thought I was going to be smart. I said, oh, so my nickname is Shanks, and I'm going to do web development. So I'm going to combine Shanks Web Dev. Okay, so that made a lot of sense to me, but pretty much anyone else that I met, for them, that didn't mean anything. You know, people have to constantly ask, what is it? Shanks, web dev, there's spelling errors. There's when I have to communicate over the phone, it's like, it's always really a hassle to get that across. So that was not a good choice, my first domain name that I bought for myself in 2010. Then, as I told you, um, I've been in business for long enough. I am successful and I realize, okay, I need to have the domain name shanks.com. Well, guess what? Someone had bought it for uh, speculate, speculative reasons. Just like you have people who buy um, land, real estate land, to uh, do speculation with. You have people, very often uh, it's Chinese companies, who buy domain names in bulk. They even monitor companies and their success history. They monitor their revenue and all of that. And once they see that there's a company that is likely to stay active for a while, they will go and purchase the domain name as an investment. And then you have to buy it from them uh, for a very high price. Because we all know here, when you initially register a domain name, depending on where you do it, uh, it's anywhere from a few cents to 10 bucks a year or something like that. So I myself had to do the following. I had to purchase my shanks.com domain for $2,500. And of course, once you do that, you only pay that high fee once. Once you do that, um, then the renewals are always going to be the normal rate, which is uh, 10 to 15 bucks a year. But that is so important that you set it on auto renewal, right? Because heaven forbid you forget to renew, there are actually companies that monitor um, the, the lapsed renewals and automatically they will purchase and buy up anything that was not renewed in time and when you are a successful company that can mean that they'll instead of making you pay twenty five hundred dollars they'll make you pay fifty thousand dollars or something crazy like that and i have seen that happening i have seen that happening and ceos have had to make the decision to purchase back their domain names for crazy sums right so um, I did that. I have. I went from Shanks Web Dev to Shanks, 
Com. And then I had the phenomenal idea, you know, I, stunder, I study on one of my mentors is John Lee. Give me a thumbs up if you know John Lee. What he teaches is, you know, create these clubs for people. Okay, Andrea knows John Lee. Patricia knows John Lee. I met, I know you, Patricia, because I met you at John Lee's mastermind in Bali. So um, he says, go and and open a club you know and john lee has jl.club john lee.club jl.club and then you sell a membership so i thought that is a neat idea i'm going to do that for shanks.club well here's the problem shanks is the problem because people don't know first of all uh, what does shanks mean right uh, when I, I didn't know that my nickname here in the US also means to shanks someone, you know, I was a non-native English speaker. I had no idea that that had that meaning. But also, is it spelled with an X or with an S, right? So that's a problem. And I had a landing page which went to, you know, when you typed in shanks.club, it went to that landing page. It still does, by the way. Um, but whenever I was in audio rooms and I would tell people to go to shanks.club, never, uh, nobody ever went there, right? So what I started doing differently, and then I had another club, another kind of funnel that I did, shanks.vip, also following John Lee's lead. He has a VIP thing. Uh, and yeah, so I, I bought shanks.vip as well. And for my VIPs, I give free daily content ideas. You know, it's my lead magnet, my lead funnel. And um, I, I started telling people, go to shanks.vip. Well, they didn't do it until I did the following. I finally took away my ego and the importance of thinking that my nickname needed to be in there. And I bought meaningful domain names that had semantically something to do with what I was offering, right? So, for example, right now I am pushing this um, webinar on Saturdays where I teach you during 75 minutes, I show you how I use AI to create artificially intelligence uh, created videos, right? And um, now I could have gone and, and kept saying, okay, Go to shanks.ai, right? Because I told you I have shanks.ai. But I got smart. I bought the domain name aimasterbootcamp.com. aimasterbootcamp.com. And guess what started happening? All of a sudden, people know how to spell it. It semantically means something to people. And they go and type in the domain name, it just forwards to the landing page and people give me their email addresses and names. They sign up for my stuff and it feels so good, right? So for shanks.vip, I actually went ahead and got the domain name dailycontent.ai, dailycontent.ai. And... Um, uh, right now, I think it points to the, uh, yeah, it it points to Shanks VIP. Go go check it out. And if you are not a VIP member yet, uh, why don't you join dailycontent.ai? So um, that right there, it took me um, like seven to eight years to get over this idea that my name of my company was so terribly important. But it was... a a very fundamental shift of mindset that finally made me have traffic on my landing pages. Because we know you need to have traffic so that people can enter the information so that you can build your mailing lists. And the whole thing is an experiment, a never-ending experiment. Does the landing page resonate with people? Does it make people enter the information? Yeah, well, that is nice. But if you never have traffic, then you can't ever find that out, right? And the only other way, by the way, if if you don't have traffic that gets to it by you doing content marketing is then you have to pay for the traffic, right? 
you have to pay ads and the ads of course don't care what the domain name is or you have to have very strong link uh, distribution campaigns where you post your links in forums and social media posts or in emails right so um yeah uh, that's it for today i hope you took a few points away number one is you should if you believe in the longevity of your business you should buy all the domain names that protect your brand and number two is embrace semantically meaningful domain names and what does that have to do with ai by the way well guess who has helped me come up with amazing domain names chat gpt okay i told it for example one of our customers they they help insurance brokers um learn learn business and find more leads right and you always run into that problem where a lot of good domain names are taken. So I had ChatGPT brainstorm a list for me. And it is way better than me, folks, ChatGPT, in, in being creative and brainstorming ideas. Because you, you can tell it, it needs to start with insurance. It needs to contain the word broker. Okay. So And it told me, uh, how about insurancebrokersuccess.com? Yeah. I think that really works for this client. So I went ahead and got them that domain name. And now when they are in their audio rooms, they can tell people, if you are a broker who wants to learn how to be more successful, successful go to insurancebrokersuccess.com and it goes to their landing page. So hopefully that was the takeaway. Again, uh, if you go to my company's homepage, shankx.com. See, I have to say shankx because then people know it's X. And then on the right-hand side, you see the hosting portal. If you want to register your domain name with me, that would be greatly appreciated. If not, um, GoDaddy, Namecheap, I mean, there are so many options for you. All right. Well, that takes us to the end of this podcast. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if the time was well invested. Give me a thumbs up if the time was well invested. Okay. Andrea, Janelle. Awesome. Thank you, Patricia. I know you could have chosen to be anywhere this morning, um, Tokoni, Vanessa, but you chose to be with me and that means a lot to me. I'm going to play some music to let this fade out. Uh, go to dailycontent.ai and join my free Shanks VIP club. Uh, go to aimasterbootcamp.com and meet me on Saturday for a 75-minute fun uh, filled zoom meeting bye bye for now